Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were my husband. You must be Sergeant Angel. Yes, I am. I'm Joyce Cooper. I trust you had a pleasant trip. Fascist. I beg your pardon? System of government characterized by extreme dictatorship. Seven across. Oh, I see. It's uh, fascism. Fascism. Wonderful. Now, we've put you in the castle suite. Bernard will escort you up there. Well, uh, actually, I could probably make my own way up. Hag. I beg your pardon? Evil old woman considered frightful or ugly. It's 12 down. Oh, bless you. Fascist! Welcome to Sanford. If anything you need, just let us know. Thank you. Could I borrow your newspaper? It's not ours, though. <laughs> yeah, we're not big fans of the local fish forever, are we, Mayor? They listed her age as 55. When I'm actually 53. 53. <laughs> <sighs> Find a lager, please, Mary. Right, you are, my love. Wait, and what about Tim Messenger? What was his crime? Tim Messenger's tenure as editor of the Sanford Citizen has been unbearable. Our once great paper had become riddled with tabloid journalism. Not to mention persistent errors. You listed her age as 55. Well, actually, I'm 53. 53. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas Angel. Oh, when did you start? Tomorrow. Oh, well, I see you've already arrested the old village. Not exactly. <laughs> you in for the night? No, oh, I'm force free. Hey, now, I need to speak to him. Ah, he'll be no use till the morning. I see. You really want to, uh, process all this lot? My pen's running out. Not a problem. What are you gonna do? Just walk in and arrest the whole village? Not exactly. Your predecessor assumed that rural policing was easy ended up having a nervous breakdown. And Sergeant Popwell was an exceptional officer, truly exceptional. And he had one thing you haven't got. What's that, sir? A great big bushy beard. Come on. But you can't wait to jump into Sergeant Popwell's grave. I'm not jumping into anyone's grave. I've got a mustache. I know. Gypsy scum, travels, travels, leaving kids, dark luck. Crusty jugglers, crusty jugglers. Travelers. There hasn't been a recorded murder in Sanford for 20 years. There's a reason we accommodate a few of the young ones at the pub. Spot a bother up at Elroy Sanford. I'll make sure everyone gets their just desserts. A great big bushy beard, 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 beard. If we don't come down hard on we these come down hard, we'll, we'll get right. You do know there are more guns in the country than there are in the sea. Everybody and their mums is packing round there. Like who? Farmers. Who else? Farmers' mums. Another beautiful day in God's country. Danny? What's <laughs> Constable Butterman, this is not the time for personal errands. Well, there's nothing going on, is there? There is always something going on. You have to look closer, all right? What about this guy? Mr. Treacher? Yeah, why has he got that big coat on? Can't be cold. Why the extra layer? Maybe he's trying to hide something. Mr. Treacher? Morning.
Okay, what about this guy? Ask yourself, why has he got his hat pulled down like that? He's fuck ugly. Or he doesn't want you to see his face. Because he's fuck ugly. You didn't have to say anything. However, it may harm your defence if you fail to mention when questioned something you later rely on in court. Anything you do say can be given in evidence. All right, Danny. What, Peter? Do you know this man? Yeah, he's Auntie Jackie's sister's brother's boy. And it didn't occur to you to mention this before? I couldn't see his face, could I? Not made of eyes. Come on! 27. Haven't you ever seen Point Break? No. Amazing bit in Point Break where they jump over fences. Is there no? 29. That is Swayze's just robbed this bank. Keanu Reeves is chasing him through people's gardens. And he goes to shoot Swayze, but he can't because he loves him so much and he's firing his gun up in the air. He's like, oh! 30. Have you ever fired your gun up in the air and gone, ah? No, I have not ever fired my gun up in the air and gone, ah! Stay back! Pack it in, Frank, you silly bastard! No, no! We don't want any more bloodshed! Frank, this whole thing started because you lost somebody you loved. Don't expect me to believe you let it end the same way. I'll tell you how this is going to end! All right, in the meantime, why don't you check out a few of Martin Blower's clients? Martin Blower represents damn near most of the village. She wants to go through the whole phone book. Yeah, we'll put a call into Aaron A. Aronson, shall we? Please, don't be childish. You did good, kid. Ta. What's your name? Aaron Aarons. Sorry? No luck catching them swans, then. Um, it's just the one swan, actually. No luck catching them killers, then. It's just the one killer, actually. <laughs> Want anything from the shop? You've just been to the shop. Thinking of a different shop. Cousin. You want anything from the shop? Call Nessa again. Want anything from the shop? Do we reckon? Sergeant Angel. Well, we should get a proper cordon off, screen the remains from public view, close down the road until the ambulance crew arrives, whereupon we should open a single lane of traffic and ease congestion. Very good. What he said. Ooh. What do we reckon? Angel. Huh? Help me. Uh, um, okay, we get a proper cordon up, we let the fire crews finish their stuff, and then we get forensics in to do a thorough sweep of the house. Very good. What he said. What are you thinking? Well, we should strike now. Well, we've got the element of surprise. The longer we wait, more time they've got to mobilise. I say we go in through the front entrance, take the place all by oil. They won't be expecting that. Very good, what he said. That was amazing. Thank you, Danny. I can't believe I shot someone. There's a doctor who can deal with it. No. Drop him. You're a doctor. Deal with it. Yeah, motherfucker. What are you up to tonight? I have to water my peace, Lily. Yeah. Thought you might want to do something. What exactly were you thinking? My name? Pup. I don't think that's a good idea. Do you? That was quite an impressive haul today, Constable Butterman. Well, yeah, I mean, maybe we should do something to celebrate. Unless you've got to water your piece, Lily. What exactly did you have in mind? I don't know. Pub? Danny, let's roll. What are you thinking? Pub? Ah! 